Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at the Croatian Police Museum outside Zagreb, Croatia, taking a look at some pretty cool uh, historical firearms and interesting firearms that they have here in their collection. And today we have a pretty cool gun from Mirko Vugrek, a Croatian arms designer. He originally developed the Agram 2000. And he originally developed the... Uh, Sorry, hold on. Yes? Okay. All right. Okay, fine. All right, they're telling me that what I need to be telling you guys about is the cell phone gun that Mirko Vugret made, not the Agram 2000. But I'm going to start with this really quick. I have a separate video on this thing's whole history, but what's really interesting about the Vugrek family is there were some pretty talented designers, and had things gone a bit differently, they could have ended up being really legitimate firearms designers. In fact, uh, the well, there were two sons, Mirko the father, and then Mirko and Ivan the son. Ivan the son got out of jail after this debacle, went straight, and is now apparently a quite talented wind turbine designer. Well, the other son, Mirko, went on to build these. All right, so what is this thing? Well, these started showing up uh, being seized by police in the mid-2000s, like circa 2007, maybe 2008. And there was an investigation that ensued, and it eventually led back to Croatia and the Vugrek family. But let me show you what this really is. Of course, it's got a standard cell phone, old-school cell phone-style case. This is a Nokitel, and this whole menu is fake. It's just printed. So what you do here, this one's uh, a bit broken on the back, and you can actually see it has four barrels. We're going to unscrew the fake antenna to reveal the fourth barrel. There we go. So there's your fourth barrel. And there is this distinctive uh, lever at the bottom. So we're going to, there we go, rotate that 90 degrees and then pull it to cock. There we go. Click. And you then slide the top off the side. And what do we have here but four 22 rimfire barrels. And right here we have four 22 rimfire firing pins. So you load four cartridges in there, slide this back in place. There's a nice strong detent. And the four, five, six, and info buttons have popped up. You can see those there. And they now act as four independent triggers. Bang, bang, bang. And Oh, that one doesn't want to go off. There we go. So actually a really clever, well-built, sort of clandestine criminal firearm. Um, what's, like I said at the beginning, what's interesting about the Vugrek family is they had real talent as designers. Um, these guns are, are remarkably nice for what they are. The Agram 2000 is perhaps one of the most clever um, intricate and, you know, highly engineered of the Croatian Homeland War submachine guns, and they didn't necessarily have to end up on the wrong side of the law. Um, you know, it's a re really interesting to think what might have happened with that family if the Agram 2000 had been chosen as, a, as, as the winner of the Croatian Army's submachine gun uh, tender, and things had gone a bit differently. But they didn't, and uh, Marko Vugrek the Younger comes out of prison and starts building these guys. So the cell phone guns would not be the last time that Mirko Vugrek, the younger, ended up in jail for making clandestine firearms. The first time was with the Agram 2000. The second time was over these, after he got raided circa 2008, uh, went to jail again for a couple of years, got out of jail, and went right back to making illicit guns again. And the third time he was making the gun that was generally, it's marked and called the R9 or the RP9 that was another kind of mystery gun that showed up across uh, the, the underground criminal markets in Europe. And we'll talk about those in a later video, because I want to get one of those and show it to you guys as well. So hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, the story of Mirko Vugrek and his uh, Nokitel cell phone gun. Thanks for watching, and a big thanks to the Croatian Police Museum for giving me access to this, as well as the Agram, to show to you guys. If you find yourself in Zagreb and uh, need something interesting to do, definitely consider stopping by the museum to check out all of their cool exhibits. Thanks for watching.